ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಹು ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ in 731 places in 197 cities in 25 countries god the number is not just growing it's exploding i welcome all of you with my love and respects and many of the ashrams and temples have started joining in two way video conferencing first phoenix yesterday phoenix join i am welcoming phoenix jayesh bhai welcome <laughs> so los angeles seattle ohio san jose hyderabad are the other cities i am able to see i am seeing on two way and Los Angeles as an LBP Acharya training, teacher's training, starting tomorrow. My blessings to Los Angeles and for LBP Acharya training. And I have many messages from many satsang centers, very emotional. One from... atlanta satsang center which says swami ji's words are really touching our hearts and it's really really sad to hear the harassment abusal false charges are still continuing swami ji rightly said that we will fast on march 2nd if needed we will fast till death on behalf of atlanta center i'd like to announce that all devotees here will observe fasting on march 2nd and we will send support letters signed with blood very soon let's all join our hands to destroy negativity for global peace this way we are getting letters continuously from all corners around the world and this is another one letter from ma nitya sarva bhaktini i do not know from which center they had paduka they had vibhuti in the in their padukas in the center maybe bangalore so mm, mm. so they sent a photograph of vibhuti appearing in the padukas my blessings to the center samor letters are there from many centers who are really sad to see the abusals today i am continuing on the same sutras yesterday sutras 119th sutra chapter 3rd and 30th verse 1/3rd verse altered states of awareness ಏತೇನ ಭೂತ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಶು ಧರ್ಮಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅವಸ್ಥಾ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾತ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಎರಡು ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಎಸ್ಟ ಡೇ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಎಸ್ಟ ಡೇ ವಾಸ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಒನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ about the different states of awareness your fear greed joy everything changes naturally many of the problems which you think as problem disappears when the awareness is too clouded too narrow it 
sees even a mustard seed as mountain. Please understand. I will define enlightenment. Enlightenment means having expanded complete understanding about the cosmos continuously an ability to maintain that understanding in your muscle memory and bio memory continuously that's all i'll give you one example if you sit and watch some movie which is related to space where they explain in a very detail and in a very interesting way sun moon other stars other galaxies the whole cosmos you see that kind of a movie especially if you see in IMAX theater for three hours you are completely transported to a different space suddenly when you come back and understand oh you are coming back to the planet earth and your continent your country and your state your city your village finally the compound where you are staying you will feel oh god such a huge universe what are we small dust and ants human beings we are fighting for such silly things i always used to feel whenever i land in a flight when you are there the whole universe the whole cosmos is there by the time the flight lands into the compound wall of the airport you know this useless idiotic system of the state country politics ownership land when the aircraft is landing inside the compound when the compound wall of the airport is growing and growing around you you just know god where was i and where am i that is exactly i feel whenever i open my eyes where was i where am i all happens in you is just desha see patanjali here uses the word very beautiful word he uses the word bhuta just you had a understanding about bhuta elements for the two hours when you saw that imax movie or the two hours when you are in the flight you had a broad understanding about elements that's all just that one understanding has suddenly shifted you to a different space if you can catch what i am saying you will understand to us if you see some movie related to space and slowly get back to this so called ugly dirty third rate abused reality that is a truth the moment you enter land the moment aircraft lands on the airport you know your very consciousness is getting into a kind of an ideological prison wow now it is this state this country 
these are the law these are the rule these are the regulation this is the way you are supposed to act poor human beings if you just have the understanding of an element for only 2 3 hours how you feel when you come back to this foolishness oh god how nice it will be if i stay there itself i am giving you one example i have seen whenever see when the flight is high in the sky whole thing looks like a small dust and you don't bother who is prime minister who is president who is chief minister who is governor who is police who is lawyer who is judge the moment you land especially slowly when the walls of the airport is seen bigger and bigger from there if you see actually it looks like a match sticks arranged when the match sticks grow to a 10 feet wall and when you come down suddenly you realize oh god you are in a large prison understanding about one element for few hours itself can give such a liberated experience then understand all the five important factors time element state awareness and sense organs if you understand all these five in a very broad way then understand the depth of the freedom you will experience a man who never accepts any meditation technique or any ideology related to surrendering or practice j krishna murthy even he accepts sitting with every day sunrise and sunset that is only ritual he promoted his whole life during sunrise and sunset he asks you to sit and surrender yourself to the whole it's a very powerful technique i tell you just during sunrise and sunset sit you will suddenly feel god universe is too big your problems are too small the foolish few thousand few hundred acres which you can fence it and have it as yours 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 and the dirty foolish things for which you are wasting your whole life is nothing but small pebbles lying around here and there and the diamond and gold for which you sacrifice your whole life when you understand life is bigger broader in these five dimensions elements sense organs nature attributes time factor awareness states in this five even one if you understand so much of freedom is experienced i am not saying if you understand and experience that freedom you will dump all this no you will give importance to all this how much needed to be given
not more than that i'm really telling you it is good to have a kingdom but it is very bad for kingdom to have you your inner space is too valuable yesterday lady i don't know whether lady or male or female sent an email to me it's kind of an anonymous email that she has crit- criticizing why this jewelry color dress throne truth does not need fancy wrapper i wanted her to understand truth that does not need fancy wrapper but the moment you think this is a fancy wrapper the truth which i say will not be helpful for you just get lost i am a simple man who likes simple things please understand i am a simple man who likes simple things when i say simple the best things is what i like that's it <laughs> and i want this for you to know neither this throne is gold throne nor this cloth is very costly actually this cloth is cheaper than the cloth which i used to wear i'm just making fun of her but the truth is this cloth is cheaper than the ordinary cloth this meter this cloth is meter 1 dollar the whole dress which i am wearing maybe 6 to 7 dollar that's all and surely that lady is wearing much more costly dress than me i can be sure if somebody gives 6 dollar i can give this dress is so only that much ordi and that lady who wrote the email must be sitting much more costlier sofa than this throne this whole thing may be costing some 200 300 dollar it's a copper made it's not golden but she must be sitting in much more costlier chair than this throne she must be wearing much more costlier dress than this dress this looks pretty why are you jealous just because this looks good she thinks it is costly and even the energy beads which are which i am wearing are simple ordinary rudraksha with ordinary beads it looks very pretty because of two thing one my disciples made with lot of love second i am wearing it <laughs> and i am very clear about it <laughs> it is not that i am hiding or i am showing <laughs> today i did not wear because our energy bid in charge was having some other work little busy she did not make anything new so i did not wear today any anyway, tomorrow i am going to wear don't think i did not wear because lady wrote email no no <laughs> and moreover our indian traditional dress furnitures jewelry all this has been abused defamed made as out of fashion so here i am trying not only to tell the truth to the world i wanted the indian fancy rapper to be promoted to the world so i am warning that person these guys may be the you will be really happy if you go to some sad gurus and i sincerely recommend you find out very soon some sad guru in your life and carry on with your journey i 
am going to be sitting in thrones i am going to be wearing indian energy beat jewelries i am going to be wearing indian clothes in indian way actually the original truth is all these things are completely cheaper than the any middle class western furniture or any middle class western dress or any middle class western jewelry that is a truth but because it looks pretty you think it is costly so you should find out the reason why it looks pretty don't come to the wrong conclusion so it cannot be just because it is pretty don't think it is costly i wanted everyone to know i wanted to solve this problem once for all i am not only interested in keeping the spiritual sacred truths and sacred secrets alive i am interested in keeping the vedic culture tradition vedic way of eating vedic way of dressing vedic way of sitting vedic way of furnitures vedic way of living vedic way of medicines i am interested in reviving keeping everything alive i sincerely recommend and promote all our disciples to use and live as many ways as possible in vedic way whether it is a food or dress or jewelry or furnitures anything so i am answering this question and attending this problem once for all understand just if in one element if you are liberated how you feel when you land how you feel bound in me all through five all character through all five characteristics i am liberated when i land how i feel but still i land just to tell you how it feels up there and these perverted minds which are caught only in the throne why did you look at the throne if you are looking at the throne you are not watching the satsang now really many of our disciples at least who are feeling connected to me they don't look beyond this frame <laughs> they don't even remember <laughs> they may be looking at the most the dress the color or the jewel because it is inside the frame other than that i don't think anybody is bothered about the throne if you are bothered about the throne either you are jealous or you are agitated irritated that old little lady staying in the neighbor house neighborhood and screaming and shouting and irritated about anything and everything happening <laughs> whether it is raining or shining or snowing she will be irritated and cursing everybody and everything <laughs> if you are that kind of person let god save you but the problem is when he gives his hand to save you you will only see the sac energy bit jewelries and criticize that also <laughs> so <laughs> let you save yourself <laughs> if you can <laughs> because why should i give the hand <laughs> if they are not going to hold that and come up if they are going to use that also to criticize once more <laughs> not only i am wearing i am telling that person who wrote the email very clearly i am making enough large quantity of jewels i am myself sitting and designing also 
all my ashramites, brahmacharis, brahmacharinis, everybody is going to be here. <laughs> Unfortunately, all this rich Vedic way of life is not promoted with a glamour or the charisma. All the people who are charismatic started using all the western things and dumped the eastern things. And all the fellows who are using the Indian things, those fellows are almost living in dustbin. They did not have any charisma. So they were not able to add glory to the Indian tradition and culture. So I have decided to build a structure with charisma and promote the Vedic symbols, the Vedic way of life. I have decided not to depend on any other models to promote the Vedic tradition. time we promote all Vedic way of life directly so today I am announcing an important announcement and I am dedicating this announcement and then this activity to this person who wrote this email all our ashrams and temples and satsang centers should have a energy bead jewelry shop And I declare using energy bead jewelry helps in your levitation, physical healing, mental healing and spiritual enlightenment. So I recommend all our devotees, disciples to use as much as possible energy bead jewelries and the way I am dressing, it's called Yoga Vastra. This kind of dress, and if you can, even make this kind of thrones and use in your office. <laughs> oh, really? I can do the mass production and start supplying. Are you really, I am telling you, in US, I have seen all these massage chairs and these that easily cost $2,000, $3,000. But this whole chair costs only two hundred dollars, not more than two hundred dollar. And I don't think in US you will get any good chair for two hundred dollar. The US ordinary seat which I am using, the many discourses you will see, not the throne, the ordinary seat, that has cost at seven hundred dollar. I know, just ordinary sofa. And for the seven hundred dollar, I will make a bigger golden throne than this. Anyhow, I am adding golden throne also one more product in energy bead jewelry. We will start producing golden thrones also in mass and supplying. It's time all you guys in your office have one on throne. You are all kings. Now this lady, if she is watching this satsang, just disappear somewhere. <laughs> what do you guys mean by criticizing our way of life? I don't come and criticize your way of life. Why are you criticizing my way of life? So I am telling all our devotees, disciples, use energy bead jewelry, Wear this kind of Indian way of dressing and sit in golden throne. <laughs> Let us revive this way of life. And I tell you, energy bead jewelry, any part you wear, that part Nadi will be awakened. Whether it is on the throat or on the Kurma Nadi 
ஆரா அந்த மஸ்ய நாடி எனி நாடி திஸ் இஸ் கூர்ம நாடி திஸ் இஸ் மஸ்ய நாடி எனி நாடி யூ வியர் தட் நாடி வில் பி அவேக்கண்ட் அண்ட் திஸ் த்ரோன்ஸ் யூ கான்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் பேக் பெயின் சிட் இன் திஸ் த்ரோன் ஃபார் டூ வீக்ஸ் இட் வில் பி கம்ப்ளீட்லி ஹீல்ட் பிகாஸ் யூ ஹட் ஆல்வேஸ் இட் ஸ்ட்ரைட் பேலன்ஸ்ட் sit in this kind of seat it's a 90 degree naturally you will not have any back pain neck pain or any pain i am a person who is sitting for hours and hours and hours i am telling you i am promoting and advertising for so many almost 10 to 12 hours i sit a day sitting 10 to 12 hours a day i am not having back pain because of this type of thrones so i am promoting this and now i will make in mass and start selling it sending it to all the countries all over the world all our acharyas our disciples our devotees in your house use this kind of seats and i will make it available just less than 200 dollars we can do it because it is not gold it is actually a plastic sheet gold painted and stuck in such a way and it looks like gold and the art work is done and i was also thinking this artists have lost their job because of this modern day furnitures and this whole art is dead now i wanted to revive it i wanted to revive this art because it's handmade it's handicrafts and i'll revive this art so i am dedicating this whole department and revival of this art to that person who wrote this email <laughs> if she would have kept quiet at least <laughs> should have seen only me in the throne now she has to see, <laughs> see everybody in the throne it is not fancy rapper it is a fashion statement i am giving when i wanted really our way of life our way of eating i want all our disciples to learn eating in the hands eating with the hands not using any object between your food and your mouth use the hand feel the food annam brahmeti food is god sense it experience it with your hand and then imbibe it when you touch with your hand and imbibe you are hugging the food first of all they don't eat fresh food somebody packed somewhere and you need to dump it inside to run and do your job poor new yorkers how they eat i have seen while they drive or run in the between the ears and the shoulder cell phone in one hand the car car in the other hand a sandwich and between the thighs hot coffee and go and hit somebody <laughs> get ticket <laughs> not only get ticket when you hit somebody that hot coffee will spill all over <laughs> and i have some injury also we eat in a rich way we sit comfortably put banana leaf dump all the fresh food hot hot and mix it nicely with hand and do it like a ritual for 2 and 1/2 hours <laughs> and i am proud about it i am not feeling sad about it and i am not feeling guilty about it so i sincerely recommend to all our disciples even if you eat only twice a day eat like this sit nicely comfortably 
and switch off the cell phone in india still we lock the door when we eat in indian villages <laughs> see before till we start eating we keep the door open and wait for any beggars or sadhus to come that moment we decide yes nobody is there uh, we decide to eat see till we start eating we wait if any guests or sadhus are waiting we call them all inside once we decide to eat we lock the door we sit comfortably and put banana leaf why the leaf you know in plate if you put the food you may not be aware and you may be little inactive looking this side that side if it is on leaf the food will be constantly flowing out so in full speed you have to finish it <laughs> you have to be completely attending if you are talking here and there the food would have gone out <laughs> to have your attention completely on the food only we have a system of banana leaf and it's a big art unless you are completely aware of the food you can't eat in banana leaf it's a technique and this side you have to play this side you have to play that side and you have to almost maintain the border boundary and then cup 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 <laughs> it's almost playing with food living with food so i wanted from today all our anna mandirs to serve in banana leaf sir come on let's start sit nicely and play with food and eat that's the way we eat our furnitures our way of life our jewelries everything is so sacred everything is connected to spirituality understand i am when you are not enjoying all these things you will start enjoying this foolish ideas like a country state my country my flag how they are not able to understand this golden throne and <laughs> this energy with jewelries i am not able to understand but i don't criticize you guys i just keep quiet okay it is their way of life i respect why are you guys constantly poking at me because i keep quiet get lost give me a break <laughs> even if you understand in one element the freedom you will understand how binding this ordinary world so if you understand the freedom in all dimensions and able to retain that in your bio memory that is what i call enlightenment understand this one example this example today try to do this watch some movie or some youtube clip related to space for some one or two hours when you come back to normal sense or abnormal sense that's the right word i'll use how you feel see the difference if this one element can give so much free feeling if you are freed in all five how you will feel contemplate on this today and share this one truth today with at least five people if you have any question or answer or person who understood the idea you shared 
bring all three tomorrow for the satsang today i am not seeing you guys have done yesterday's homework please understand the homework is important even for the ashramites whoever is sitting in the moment at this moment in satsang in 780 places in 232 cities in 27 countries all of you understand this one truth if you feel the expanded broad understanding about elements how you feel liberated when you come down how you feel bound just one understanding can give so much of liberated feeling then if you understand the broadness in all five dimensions what will happen so this one truth go around and share convince at least five people enroll at least five people for this truth at least give the share this truth with five people and enroll them for it and that person who wrote email another one point also she wrote i know for sure many people whose mother tongue is english are there around swami ji why is he making again and again the same in- mistakes in english i wanted to let her know my english is neither uk english us english indian english it is my own english it is my own language in indian languages we have a special word called arsha prayoga arsha prayoga means whatever master utters you cannot find any grammar mistakes in it whatever he utters is ultimate because i am trying to express which can't be expressed so i cannot be using our putting myself to the cons- the constraints of the language and the grammar written by the fools who have not seen anything beyond words that is why in sanskrit the sanskrit grammar is created by the people who have seen things beyond words like patanjali he knows so many are going to see the space beyond words they should not have the same difficulty which he had that is why he made a clear rule whatever master stock is arsha prayoga means usage of a rishi so it does not come under any grammar rules regulations no fault can be found so i declare not only to that lady to the whole world whatever i am talking whether it is a english tamil sanskrit or any other language which i speak during kalpataru's in any other program all i utter comes under the category of arsha prayoga the meaning i give is the meaning for it after all you understand what i am saying that is the purpose of the language then what is the other problem why should always be the problems of grammar come in i say you listen <laughs> you understand you say i listen why grammar
say what for the language to express what i am trying to express and for you to understand what i am trying to express that's all when the purpose is solved why are you bothered so much about the language it's like i am pointing towards the moon this is just a finger pointing to the moon look at the moon instead they catch my finger and hang on it and sometimes try to bite my words are nothing but finger pointing to the moon just look at the moon why are you wasting your brain already you have very less and wasting that also into some useless things this is indian way of speaking <laughs> and i am a small boy from an indian village and i am not interested in correcting my accent and i am not interested in correcting my grammar mistakes i am not interested in teaching english language or reaching out to the highest fluent english speaking crowd neither they are going to listen to my ideology nor i am interested in convincing them i am interested in ordinary simple people who are interested in simple truths in the language i am saying like i tell you you understand you tell you i understand <laughs> That, like that mental people are enough for me if you write one small this kind of email i'll change my language into i tell you you understand <laughs> i'll start speaking and i'll set this as a trend here i am trying to sit and explain some extraordinary things and i learned the whole thing in original sanskrit which is such a complicated language and concept i am trying my best to put it in a common man's language and after all you understand she writes very clearly in the email i saw very clearly she understands what i am talking and she put some questions also that itself shows she is understanding i tell you understand you tell i understand what problem <laughs> and this is the way we speak english in indian villages and i wanted all indian villages who studied some engineering and went and settled in us as it profession i want all of them to be comfortable with me <laughs> and i am not interested in teaching to people and the whole us only 3 and 1/2 percent people speak fluent high quality english i am catering to a simple ordinary people who mix spanish and english english and telugu tamil and english who live in a simple way like me i am interested only sharing my truth with them and if somebody knows better english than me please go and find out your truth from some other sad gurus they may be speaking better english <laughs> and i'll continue to make the same mistakes and more and more mistakes I 
I think enough for today. <laughs> Let me come back to the subject. <laughs> Understand this one truth today. Never ever disrespect Indian tradition. <laughs> Indian way of dressing. Indian way of eating. Indian way of talking, Indian way of furnitures. I think this truth you will understand. <laughs> Let me come to the spiritual truth. <laughs> Even if you feel liberated in one element, how you feel your whole life, fear, problems, anxiety, everything has disappeared for those few hours. See, when you are watching some movie or experiencing the space, for those few hours, your fear, greed, anger, ideas about life, everything has disappeared. Different. When you come down, problem starts. Ability to retain that freedom where your anger, fear, greed, everything disappears is enlightenment. Even if one element, if you are liberated, how it becomes different? If you are liberated in all five elements, time, senses, conditions, awareness, and elements. Tomorrow I will give you a detailed step-by-step -step technique to be liberated from all these five. Today, Take this one truth, if you are liberated even in one element, how your life is different. Understand that. And share this truth at least with five people. If you get more questions, get back. If you get more answers, bring it. If you have more people, who are inspired, you must be having. <clears throat> if you are not able to enroll five people for this truth, this truth has not worked on you. Work on it. If you have at least a few people who understand this truth, bring them tomorrow. Bring all three to the satsang. Well, attend all three. So, I bless you all to achieve, live, experience, express, radiate and share the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.